Uh, manic Monday. Miserable Monday. Money Monday. Sports Ivan the ATL here. What's good, y'all? Like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. I do got to thank everybody for their amazing support in my game stream yesterday. Again, my numbers are going up. I knew it again when the Falcon season started. A lot of new subscribers. Financial support now coming. I do appreciate that. That was great, guys. Thanks for the cash apps yesterday. And the messages in the cash apps were of positivity, and I do appreciate it. I did get one when the stream ended from Mackenzie 12 or Mayweather, 12, May, Mayweather 212. Thank you very much. If you care to support the channel, cash app dollar sign hiving. If you want a personal video, shout for me. Personal, uh, send at least $10 on the cash app. Let me know it's for a shout, whether you do videos or not. Because uh, I do want to start try to interact with as many of you guys as I can. Acknowledge as many of you guys as I can. It's really hard when, it, when the chat is flooding. So that's the only way that I know. I'll give you shouts as I can, if, when I can. But if you really want one personal, hey, nothing wrong. Pay for it. $10 at least. Cash app, dollar sign, Hyvee. Falcon fans, apparently a lot of y'all do not want to make the playoffs. Okay? I don't know about y'all. A lot of people are like, oh. Uh, like laugh not famous my dude well everybody don't make me look stupid don't make me look stupid Ritter you're not looking stupid sir Desmond Ritter is okay I, I've told you a thousand times famous um that I want Ritter to succeed any quarterback that comes on our team I want him to succeed Mariota Ryan etc Matt Shaw it don't matter I want them to play well and win but the fact is the dude is not cutting the mustard He's showing flashes of what he can do. But we don't want flashes once every five games. We need because as much consistency as possible. Growing pains, he was on the team last year. And then he played four games. So this is actually his second year with the team. Okay, he played in four games last year. Has Ritter progressed since his very first game last year when he took over for Mariota, the quitter? Yes, absolutely. I'm absolutely. But he has had two games like this this year, the one in London and then this one here. And both games were winnable, especially this game here. Falcons dominated all across the board, moved the ball up and down the field, almost 500 yards, but we gave Washington short fields, two of them on picks. And that's a problem. Now, I don't, again, famous, what's up, Sluto? How you doing, Sluto? What's up, my guy? I know you want this team to win. I want to win. but And I want this team to, to groom itself to, to win for, for years to come. But we got a legitimate chance to make the playoffs this year. Something we haven't done since 2017. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Taylor Heineke. Heineke. That's right. What's a Heineke? Just like we don't know what a Taysom Hill is. Heineke gives us the best chance. He is a veteran. He has won some decently big ball games. I would rather have him in because I think if Heineke was in yesterday, he probably would have pulled it out. Not guaranteeing it, but come on, man. Falcon fans, do you want the playoffs this year or not? We got a lot of talent on this team, too much to be scoring an average less than 20 points. The way that everybody thought during the season, we'd be scoring 35-plus points. We could. We got a good running game, good receivers, good tight ends. The only issue I have is consistent pass rush and special teams and quarterback play. You know, you can't lose these games at home, especially against teams you should beat. The Commanders? What? So, I mean, it's time to sit this guy. Like I said, I know people are riding Ritter and they really want him to succeed, but my God, man, some of these decisions are just ridiculous costing us ball games like crazy but like i said this is just my opinion i you know i root for the this chick is hot in front of me i root for the falcons for me for slid up for david i don't root for my teams for anybody else yes i want support yes i want to provide entertainment for you but i'm real once this camera goes off none of y'all <coughs> support the team off of youtube like me you do it in your own way but you know i live it 24 7 my priorities are my job making money, obviously, but I mean, I got a sports room. I talk to a lot of people. Trust me, it, it's off of YouTube as well. 
So, I mean, I love my teams and I want to win. And this is a year that we actually have a legit chance to make the fucking playoffs. And yet we've given two games away because of Desmond Ritter and stupid play called him by Arthur Smith. Again, I don't understand why he went for the two points. That was ridiculous to me. I don't know why we get down to the goal line and we don't run the ball. I mean, did you notice in years past when we got down to the goal line with Dan Quinn, we would run the small running backs a lot, knowing damn well they're not going to bust through the line, right? But now we actually have guys who could break through the line. You like to think one time in four opportunities, you get it a first down. You like to think B. John could get it in finally at some point. But yet we're passing the ball a lot. Like, just like we did with Dan Quinn. That's why we got these interceptions in the end zone with Ryan and Quinn and Mike Smith and everything because we didn't trust the runners that we got. We clearly have shown that we could run the football. And I like to think first and goal at the seven or eight, we could do it. Second time against Washington, this has happened. Mariota did it last year and fucking threw a tip interception in the end zone. Why do you guys not understand when you throw into the end zone, you risk getting picked off? When you have a running game, you need to utilize that running game. But yet, they keep making these same decisions week in and week out, year in and year out. And we talk about the same thing. It's like, it's like the, 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 the form of insanity is repeating the same mistakes. I mean, this is not a week, a uh, one year thing. This is a yearly thing with this organization. We get coaches who cannot understand what to do with the goal line. Now, when Kyle Shanachoker was here, he utilized both. He utilized the running game and the tight ends really well because he mixed it up and he had guys who can make plays. All right? We got guys on our team who can make plays in between the 20s and the 10 right at the goal line. But when you work on, when you run the ball and throw the ball to get down to the 10 and you got a running game like we got, Algiers, Robinson, even Cordell, you run the fucking football. Nine out of 10 times. You might try to throw it one time on third down, but the first two plays should be running the ball. It's just mind-boggling to me, man. I, I don't I don't get it. I'll never understand it. And these guys get played millions of dollars, yet people downplay us and say we're just fans. We know the game just like you. Just because we didn't choose that profession to be a coach or a player, it doesn't mean that after all the years of watching, we haven't figured out what it takes to play. And a lot of us played growing up. I did. Y'all just get paid millions of dollars to let us down and to fail. We know just as much about the games of all the sports teams that you do. But, yeah, we don't know anything, and we're just fans. And a lot of you guys like, I don't care about what I hear out of the locker room. Yeah, you're okay about hearing out of the locker room when you're winning and when you're playing well. But when you're not playing well and you're screwing up, all of a sudden you put blinders on you. I don't care about what I hear outside the locker room. It's all about the guys in the locker room. But, yeah, you're okay if you're winning. You don't mind us screaming and, sh and praising your name. Get the hell out of here with that, man. On my channel... I'm going to tell you good, and I'm going to tell you bad. And that was a crap performance. We let one get away on Sunday. So, Also, I'm very still, I'm still salty about the Braves. I was going to do a Braves video, but I'm not. Can't believe we're not playing in the NLCS. Uh, go Arizona Diamondbacks. That's all I can say. Like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, cash app, dollar sign, hiving to support. Please leave a comment below. Thanks again for all the support yesterday. I will do the, I will gather up the NFL picks today and get them situated. Bills Mafia, I hit you up on uh, on uh, one of your bidders, I believe. You won last week. If you want the, 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 the prize, you need to get a hold of me. I'm not hounding you. I'm not hounding anybody. All right? So I'll look at the picks tonight from what happened, you know, after the game tonight and try to get it situated tomorrow for you and announce the winner of week six. We got the Tampa Bay Bucks and Baker Mayfield, first place on the line. All teams in the NFC South lost yesterday. The Jets beat the uh, Eagles, so we uh, we uh, shut up a loud mouth, and he's already trolling all over the place, making excuses. It's like, dude, if you're going to come on and troll me all the time when you're winning and I'm losing, don't come back at me. Well, you can, but you shouldn't come back at me with fucking, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trolling you. If you can't take it, don't dish it out, son, because you know what I'm, I'm going to be about. And you better not lose in the NLCS. Same as the 49ers. We got a bet, Welcher, that got embarrassed yesterday. So aside of the Falcons, it was great. And I'll see you in the next one.